I'm Jolie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Rees, where we make beautiful rees and teach you how to make and sell them. This video, we're actually going to be making a garden arrangement. I think this would be perfect for the summertime and to put in um, your kitchen for the summer. These, this is going to be an arrangement that uh, Jackie Johns made at my wreath retreat recently. I thought that was a, such a cute and simple design and I got all of the supplies from Greenery Market and I thought, you know what, I'm going to go on and show off her design, which was kind of cute. It's pretty easy too. So we're going to put that together. I love this little container. We got uh, all of this, this, all of it from Greenery Market on Etsy. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to zoom in so you can see just a tad bit better. We are going to put some glue on our foam. Okay, so we've got that glued down just like that. And now I'm going to add in another. All right, I'm going to put a little bit of moss on top of our foam to give it just a little bit of coverage. If you don't know who I am, I'm Julie Samako, owner of Southern Charm Rees. I have been making for 10 years now. Um, started out making for my own home and then gradually moved into selling. And now I teach people to make simple designs. I'm going to be the first to tell you, don't be coming to me for something elegant and extravagant. Simple is me. That's what I like. I like simple, simple, simple. Something easy you guys can do, right? Something easy you guys can do. So I'm thinking this is going to go. So I know the design. I've already seen it. It's going to go, this is going to go here. And I'm going to put this over here. Like I said, this is a design that was created by Jackie Johns at my wreath retreat. And so I'm gonna hopefully do her some justice in duplicating it. These are beautiful zinnias, aren't they pretty? Each one of these bends The leaves even have little uh, wires in them, so you can bend them. So this is really, really pretty. Just look at these dahlias. Um, so one of the reasons I chose the red. Now, if you, Greenery Market, I know they had other colors. I thought when Jackie did her design, she did yellow, and I thought, I'm gonna do red. So red or yellow, whichever one you wanna use will work fine. And then um, I liked, I wanna talk to you a little bit about the coloring. You see the coloring of the Xenia, the centerpiece? You see that? That's like a little bit of a lime green. And look at the lime green on this. Isn't that brilliant? Just love it. Right, so this is fruit from, all of this is from Greenery Market, and this, if you look at this um, pick, it has a little bit of a, um, a little flocking, not quite, not like a heavy flock, like, you know, you see on a Christmas tree in, in, in Christmas time, but just a little bit of a flock. It gives just this brilliant texture to this, which I think is gonna be so, so pretty. And then all of the leaves, and then I'm gonna move my fruit around just a little bit. So my goal is to have it drape over this way. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, yes, 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 yes. And then let me get this out of the way. I think what I'm gonna do is, um, so I wanna know when Jackie made her, she just did the stem all the way down. Um, I think what I'm gonna do different is just have it placed over on this side. So I'm going to trim this and get some floral pens. You can use wire or Dixon pens, whatever you might have. I'm just going to get the placement. 
I want the drape. So we're just going to incorporate our container now into our design. Move it over a little bit more. All right, so we've got that over here. Now what I want to do is add a little bit of, we've got some really pretty ranunculus. That's so amazing. And then we've got this vegetative looking bush. So I'm going to go ahead and add this, I think. So I love getting in here and making just to help me get through some of the stresses of the day. I know I'm not the only one. Crafting is just a great little outlet, isn't it? Hold on, I didn't get that one all the way in. Now I'm going to move on over. So this is what we have. Isn't it cute? It's turning out cute. So now we're going to move on over to our ranunculus. This is orange. You can, um, I'm sure there's other colors if you can't find orange. I also, also brought over these um, mums, not mums, what are these called? Clover bundles. I think this would look really pretty in it. So if you can't find the orange ranunculus, or if this is yellow and then you have orange, or maybe you have yellow ranunculus and red flowers, whatever the color you wanna do, I think it will be good. But these little um, flowers would look really cute with this too. So one of the things that um, I teach in the Wreath of the Month Club group is about grouping. And a lot of times we can make our wreaths with groupings and you can make an arrangement with grouping. So for me, the, to use groupings is the easiest design to make, especially when you're making an arrangement like this. So if you, if you ever like plant outside in your planters for spring or summer, um, or even if you go to the greenery, the greenhouse, and you see how they plant things together, they do groupings. So they put like all the petunias over here and then all of the ver verbenum over here and eventually it intermingles together, right? But they start out with groupings. And then this is all I'm doing here with this is just a grouping, but as if it's already grown up, if that makes sense, grown out. So uh, groupings are just a great way to, um, a great easy way for those who are new to, uh, you know, floral design. And I love the length. So you've got some long, some short. And then some of these little pieces that we've cut off, I can go through and attach those. So we've got one um, side that's got all of our pretty orange. And now what we're going to do is add in um, some other element. We're going to add, I think we'll add this fern. Let's see, we got fern. No, let's add this. <clears throat> so these berries, it's just a little bit of a berry bush and it can be divided into many different ways. And it's just a, a really good texture. They're plastic, so they're going to keep, you know, they're going to keep their shape. And I don't think we'll use all of this. I'm just going to divide it. You see how this is just filling in on this side? So, so pretty. OK, 
continuing on with our arrangement, I'm looking to see if there's any holes. I think there's a couple over here. I'm just going to keep doing a little bit more on this side. Okay, for now, I think that's good. Um, and you know, when you have your planters, remember I talked to you about your planters when you're planting them in the summer, maybe they're on your, um, your deck or your front porch and how they tend to overgrow. There's always that one thing that tends to dominate the, the planter. So you can have one or two of these pieces kind of meandering over on the opposite side. So you could see how we've started to incorporate a lot of the yellowy green texture and now it's gone throughout the design just a little bit just to spread the love. Just putting a little bit of bend, always do a little bit of bend into your silk flower pieces. Oh, that's cuteness. Do you like that? I love how it just like fans out. And then we'll just do maybe one over here and then one in the back. All right, I still have some fern left over, but I'm going to draw the limit right now and say we do not need any more fern. At this point, I'm going to look around and see. I've got this one more little cabbagey thing, and I'm going to decide do I want to add another little layer of that. I think I might do that here in this back. So we've got a little bit, just a little bit of a hole right there. In fact, I could just come in and fill it in with that and then save this. So that's very important to just look at things that you have already on your table. Maybe it's on your floor and you're thinking, hmm, there's a hole. So right here, I'm going to just put that in there. So this is not trash. This is a great way to fill in. All right, I'm just going to step back and look and bend. Let me just separate these just a tad bit more. I give a little bit of bend. Oh yes, there we are. This is it y'all. I think this is it. So, so pretty. Let me turn it this way. Um, so you can see the rustic container, our, our foliage has broken the plane of the container. So you're incorporating the container into the design. It's just turned out super cute. Um, again, this is grouping. This is what I call, what people in the industry call grouping. You group your flowers together, the fruits group together. And then over here we have our berries grouped together. And then we have our uh, Dusty Miller is grouped together. Then you can still intermingle little things like a fern here or there, and that's what I did. Started the fern over on this side and then just little pieces throughout. Um, it turned out super, super pretty. The Again, if you get the supplies from Greenery Market, these could have been yellow and still been just as pretty. Um, so don't think that if they run out of the red, um, that yellow won't look pretty. It will look stunning with this. In fact, it will be very bright and cheerful. It'll go perfectly with your lemon that you have. So I think this turned out really cute. This is a Xenia. Um, it is great. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit just to see if you can see some of the texture on it. 
So when I'm looking for flowers for home decor, I'm looking for um, the quality. So I wanna see each individual petal. I like to see that we have leaves that have the wire in them so that we can bend and shape them. Obviously, it needs to be important that these little pieces right here are bendable and shapeable so that we can um, put a little bit of life into them and character. So that's one of the things I look for when I'm picking flowers for home decor. Again, these, um, this fruit is really cute. You see just the beautiful texture in it and then the glue strings I see all over the place. And then here is the leafy texture over here. And then I see maybe a little hole where I could put another uh, a leaf or something right there once you lift it up and lift under the skirts. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. So don't forget to um, go. Here is my free video for you guys. Just click over there, um, enter your email, and we will email it directly to you. It's just, um, it's a great a video uh, for from our wreath of the month club group and it's professionally recorded and edited it's one of our featured it's just a way for me to say thank you and i hope um, that you're you know making it through all of this uh, cor coronavirus crazy stuff that we're all having to like deal with right now I love the, the elements of this design too, mainly the, the greenery. Um, a lot of people just discount the greenery and really the greenery can be one of the focal pieces in your design. And then one of the other things is not to be afraid. If you go to um, a planter, I'm not a planter, a nursery where they make do planting and planters take a look at some of the the designs that they put together because they are using this grouping method that's it i hope y'all have a wonderful evening and i'll catch you hopefully later um, sometime in the week all right